Ruth, mental health, what's the latest on that? Well, I think that the government has really underestimated the problems that we're having in Canterbury. Um, we are funded at a lower rate than any other district health board in the country. That doesn't make any sense to me. And that's compounded with the ongoing earthquake-related stress that people are having. Uh, we know that that's not just confined to Christchurch, it's the whole of Canterbury. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the other financial pressures that the rural community is feeling. And we've got a very strong rural base in Canterbury. Um, so despite all our pleas from leading lights throughout Canterbury, the government didn't acknowledge that in the budget. The City Council has this week started a discussion about whether they will put some of the mural fund money, a million dollars of the mural fund money, into mental health services. I think that's a great initiative because that money was donated to the mural fund to help Canterburyans. And I think people now, five and a half years after the quakes, uh, need it more than ever. Because it certainly hasn't gone away, has it? No, it absolutely hasn't. Um, what the District Health Board tell us is that a lot of people who have never before needed health services uh, are now feeling the effects of the ongoing insurance battles or dislocation from their homes, all the earthquake-related issues. And they actually don't recognise it in themselves and don't ask for help. So, so it's a sort of late, you know, late recovery for them. They're suddenly saying, actually, I'm in meltdown, rather than recognising signs early on. So we're getting a lot of um, that um, syndrome, which for people who are doing the treatment is a lot harder than people who recognise they're under stress early and ask for help. And of course, the services that we've, we've got in Canterbury just aren't able to cope. There is not enough support for the people that need it. There must be a group of people and sort of a feeling that, come on, Canterbury, it's five and a half years, build a bridge and get over it. Yeah, they, they may well, um, and I certainly wouldn't want them to have to live through what we've lived through to understand it. Um, but I'm really confident that we're resilient, um, that we're robust, that we're dealing really well with our issues, but we need more support. We're, we're funded at a lower level than any other district health board, and yet we've got far greater needs. That doesn't make sense to me. I think the government needs to, to get engaged with Cantabrians and say, actually we'll do what we promised we'd, we would do, and that is stand beside us.